standing here with Effie and Zeev. Yes. We are here uh, on the Golan Heights, and we are looking into Syria, site of just the worst civil war imaginable. Syrians uh, who are wounded or in need of medical attention have been getting medical attention uh, from the Israelis. Sometimes they're wounded, and sometimes those are uh, sick women or children. I cannot imagine how they feel. Yeah. You know, so, sometimes they come and they, they're just so scared and, and you know, you can, you can barely get them talk. And sometimes they say, Toda, thank you in Hebrew. That's yeah, yeah, in my Syrian language. For to thank you yeah. in Hebrew is pretty uh, special. Yes. And you can hear, that's the civil war. What we're hearing right now right is- Right now is the exchange of fire between the regime and the rebels. That's the city of Nukunetra. That city is controlled by the regime, okay, by Assad's military. And the village right here is controlled by rebels. That's machine gun fire over here, heavy, rifle heavy fire. Machine guns. Heavy machine gun. Yeah. And this is going on all the time. Um, this is relatively calm, okay, and relatively calm relative to war. That's mind numbing um, that that's relatively that's calm. That's relatively calm. Yeah, I've never heard an actual war before. Um, that's, that's pretty uh, sobering. Syrians are treated near the border, and then they're taken here. Standing here with Dr. Rosenthal and with Faris. Yes. And uh, Dr. Rosenthal, obviously you uh, treat uh, the Syrians that come here and need help. And uh, Faris, uh, you are a social worker. You speak Arabic, and you say that's important because when the Syrians come in, they're very afraid. So if someone can speak Arabic to them, it calms them, is that right? Yes. You're treating uh, Syrians here who've been injured in the Civil War. You don't treat them just medically, they're also treated psychologically, is that true? Yeah, that's true, because there are some people that are, they have illnesses. Mm -hmm. They also come here because they have a trauma. Right. They have a trauma from the war. Mm -hmm. They have a trauma for leaving the country. Yeah. I think you're doing God's work here. I, I honestly, sincerely think you're doing beautiful work here. The only thing I question about you are these medical crops. That I think is the only thing that uh, separates you from a godlike status. So, yeah, we are only human. Yeah. We, only we all have our mistakes. Have the, yeah. You bought those. Just, you saw them at yeah. the mall. And you had to have them. Other yeah. than the Crocs, I think you should get the Peace Prize. I really do. Next, I visited with some of the Syrian patients whose faces we had to blur for their own protection. <laughs> Please tell him that I'm very sorry for his injury and his pain. And coming here and, and seeing everyone here uh, who's been injured and meeting them, it's very powerful for me. The world is very aware of the horrors in Syria. And um, we're hoping that together, maybe we can find a solution so that this can stop. <laughs> Salam tech. Salam tech. Salam tech.